Hey, this is Brandon, and this is my chart review for Wednesday, February 17th. Um, I, again, had some issues with my data when I opened my platform originally this morning. I noticed this bar closed at 18.50 yesterday, and this bar closed at 4.40 a.m. today. So I know for a fact there was a lot more price action than just that one single bar. Um, so I'm not really sure why I keep having this issue. I've tried closing out the platform and opening it back up. I've tried reloading data. Um, nothing seems to help. <clears throat> so not sure what's going on. Um, it's been a while since I've rebooted my laptop, so I'll try that maybe tonight and, and maybe tomorrow will be uh, better. But um, the price action here was essentially a, a spike upwards and then it went into this two-tiered channel um, and it was pretty clear I uh, I unfortunately didn't take this trade nor this failed second entry short right here um, uh, but we'll get to that but I mean it, it, it worked pretty well all day um, and it came sh came up shy of the upper line I mean, these touches here are perfect, uh, but it came up shy in this area, so I thought we might get a little bit more of a correction and we might actually get a break of the channel or the trend line there. Um, but we didn't. It held and kept going higher, ran to the midline, and then it got the break. Um, and this is there with the uh, FOMC meeting minutes that were released at uh, 1 o'clock central, 11 a.m. for me. And uh, so I didn't take any trades right in this area. That was right there. <clears throat> but I did take this trade um, just about only about 15 minutes after the news. And uh, it worked out, turned out to be a nice trade. <clears throat> um, but anyway, I'll zoom in and discuss the uh, setups that I saw. I didn't mark any shorts um, actually I take that back I do want to mark this one right here and I'll talk about that <clears throat> but uh, I got started right here this was the first trade that I marked there there was probably trades earlier since this is this is already eight, uh, five minutes after the open five ten minutes after the open um, but my data was not not reliable so I didn't mark anything in this area um, but uh, we were obviously working higher we made a new high we had a little channel working down um, then just kind of meandered upwards and this was right right at the open at 830 um, so I was looking for a chance to get long uh, it made a brand new high and worked lower once pulled back tried to go lower a second time um, it happened. I, I didn't. I wasn't quick enough to actually have my stop order there, um, so I actually came back with a limit order and took a long right there and got a, a four or a five tick scalp. I don't remember, um, but that's a nice failed second entry short in a clear uptrend. So I like that one. Um, then we get a correction here, and I had this this channel a little flatter such that we didn't really get a close outside until over here um, and so I was looking for a retest of these lows uh, so I ended up skipping that trade in the end I like uh, maybe having the channel a little steeper and you get a little break outside a little close outside the trend line and it comes down here and makes a new low and notice the uh, the trap here it goes well actually it's just it's really just a second entry um, it, it's kind of trappish because there's a little bearish bar here and it goes a couple ticks lower um, and then it ultimately fails right there so this is not a great I mean from the low first entry pull back second entry even also counting from the high it never ticks higher and this is the first entry pull back second entry um, but this is not really a great signal bar here it's obviously more of a doji um, but but I think it's valid. Um, it's a, you know this correction is over and it's a, it is a second entry. So I like going long right there after that bar. Um, 
and then notice the low first entry short pullback second entry short and it fails I believe this went lower first and then broke out the top and then kind of hesitated there it was similar to um, so um, a little bit of an interruption but I was gonna say that this trade was similar to a setup from yesterday and my platform is kind of weird um, but it was right here notice there was the channel working down and then it made a new low first entry pull back second entry short just a single tick broke higher and then it kind of hesitated and I went long there um, and I could have uh, could have held on to that for a lot longer but I thought it was a similar similar setup that we got this morning right in here it's a failed second entry short uh, and it just keeps pressing higher I don't see I wasn't comfortable taking any of these longs they're all first entries um, and you finally get the break of this little channel and it makes two more legs to a new high it goes right to where you expect it coming off that top um, channel line and you get a little correction I got a little I jumped the gun on this trade and unfortunately took a loss um, because it was working down you got first entry and a break of this little channel first entry pullback and it made it a new low by a single tick and there was that little bullish bar there so I thought it was a valid second entry long but by the time I recognized it the price was back down here so I just used a limit order to go long down here um, and it just went right against me and it would not have stopped me out my entry there was at 1675 so my eight tick stop was down at 1475 which was a couple ticks below the, those lows right there so it would have survived um, but notice first entry long pullback second entry long and it fails and then you got this weird little bearish bar and it ticked one lower and I kind of got worried about it so I ended up closing the trade for a couple of ticks loss and then and then it went higher um, so I think that <clears throat> it just this is just I mean it is it is a second entry but it hasn't yet come back to the EMA so you really need to wait I really needed to wait until it came back to the EMA and also this midline uh, and uh, and then you get this little one tick trap it has a somewhat bearish bar it goes one tick lower and then breaks out the upper side uh, so that right there was a actually a good place to go long right when I was closing out my long for a loss um, and then you have a double bottom here so there's a first entry short pulls up and gives you a second entry short right here and it fails goes a few goes a good seven or eight ticks higher so I think that's good for a scalp it's a little bit sketchy because you're going high or you're going long right at the right near the high of the day um, but it, it is a trap and it's 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 a nice trap too I mean it tried to push lower in here as well and that's a nice bearish bar um, and so you catch traders trying to pick a top and it just goes higher um, at this point I took a counter trend trade here I figured um, I don't know it just looked kind of bearish right in here so I used a limit order to get short one tick below that high and uh, it was just kind of a place where I thought here's this big bullish bar and it stopped there and started working lower and so I kinda had a hunch that it would at least pull back to the EMA at that point um, you know it worked out it wasn't uh, it definitely wasn't a legitimate price action type of setup um, but I did take a scalp there five ticks and bounced again off the EMA but that's just the first entry and uh, again I didn't mark any shorts in here I'm not looking for shorts <laughs> I took that short but technically I shouldn't be looking for shorts on a nice up day like this but uh, anyway you get this channel working down and this is how I had my trend line um, drawn based on all these lows that are lining up and so this entry here ended up being a first break of that channel um, but it was a valid second entry 
but it was a valid second entry long and it's, it was also a nice little bear trap right there so what I should have done actually is have my <clears throat> trend line a little bit steeper and that tends to fit pretty well like so uh, and then you get a break and a new low and look at that bearish price action right there it's headed lower this is somewhat of a trading range well it is a trading range so it's never a good idea to go short below the EMA in a trading range type of area especially one where there's a an upward bias and so this goes two ticks lower reverses and fails right there so I like that it's it's a failed second entry short uh, and it's also a second entry long so that's a nice trade right off the support area of this trading range um, <clears throat> I am not sure why I went long right here. I, I, I thought this was a really bearish bar um, and it went one tick lower and then started coming back up. And when it broke higher here, I thought, wow, that, that was a trap. They just trapped a bunch of bears. And so I'm going to go long right here. And it went uh, a couple of ticks my way, but then it came right back here. And I, I kind of rethought that entry. It's a first entry counting from this double top right here. And, uh, and so I didn't think it was a good idea to get long there. So I went ahead and closed the trade at, at uh, break even. So just lost commissions on that one. And this ends up being kind of a repeat pattern of what happened over here. I think I needed to have this channel a little steeper. And you get a close outside and a little double bottom there. And again, you know, you've got support coming in right at this price level. So you got a first entry long, pull back second entry long. And again, there's that little one tick trap where they try to suck in some bears right there going lower. Um, but again, you don't want to go short below the EMA. So when that fails right there, second entry long from the, the lows of this little trading range, I believe that's a good place to go long. It's also turns out to be right off of this um, major trend line. And that really confirms the trend line uh, shortly before it actually ends up breaking. And then you have uh, almost a repeat pattern of this right here. You have a double bottom with a little one tick higher low right there. So first entry short, pull back, second entry short. Um, it wasn't really a second entry short because it never ticked lower, but it attempted to go, go lower once. It attempted to go lower a second time right there. Couldn't even manage to tick lower on the next bar. Um, and that was actually a third attempt to go lower. Again, unable to make a lower low than the previous bar. So when it finally broke higher there, I like going long right there. It is risky going long right into the highs of the day, but that, that risk ends up paying off with a really nice trade. So, But I ended up skipping both of those trades. It wasn't a clear enough setup, in my opinion. Um, I failed to circle this trade. That's a pretty good setup. Um, you make a new high on the day. You pull back. You get a break of that little short-term trend line, and it pushes down and makes a, an equal low, retests those lows, and it's bouncing right off the EMA. So right here, you got a little tiny bar, second entry long, um, oh wait, maybe that's why I didn't circle it. So the high there is 23. So if you go along with the stop, 23 and a quarter. Uh, no, that's a four tick failure. So I'm going to delete that. So that just goes to show you, you don't want to go long right into the highs of the day. Uh, this one would end up being a four tick failure and then it drops down and stops you off for a loss. I believed after this double top, I thought, you know, it was a similar idea to this over here. We had this big bearish bar, and it ticked one lower, and, and then reversed and closed it all the way on its high. So when it ticked higher, I used a limit order to go long right there, um, and uh, pretty quickly learned the error of my ways, and it dropped down here really quick, and I moved my stop and, and actually stopped myself out for a four tick uh, loss right there.
This was the FOMC, and <clears throat> this was the trade that I took about 15 minutes after FOMC. We had a nice trend working up, and notice all the matching highs here. We couldn't get a close above 1924. Then suddenly we get two closes above 1924, and it pulls back and gives you this bearish looking price action right here. I was not going to be suckered into going short right there, uh, especially considering that was the first break of this trend line. Um, so instead, when it when it failed and ticked higher, uh, I thought of it as a trap. I used a limit order to get long. It took a minute or two, um, and then you can see it, it moved up so quickly and filled my target order so quickly that it, the, the platform didn't even paint the a little marker until the next bar hanging in midair there so that was a really good trade it's just a second entry long um, from the low and it's a trap uh, for these uh, for bears trying to pick a top right here um, next thing that happened is you see I had this shorter steeper trend line working down we got a break and it pushed down to a new low. I was tempted to go long here. I ended up skipping it. Um, and uh, just because I'd been burned on, on that kind of a setup before. Um, and I thought there was also perhaps this, this uh, flatter trend line working down also. And I didn't want to go long right into that. And it was also technically a first entry. It never ticked higher in this area. Even though it did push higher, it never ticked higher there. And so it wasn't technically a second entry long. Um, so I skipped that and then it ends up giving us this really bearish bar um, and it closes right below the EMA. And I, I definitely would have gone short in this area if it had broken lower right there. I mean obviously it broke higher but then when it came down here and closed down here it didn't tick lower than the previous bar. So I thought that was a little bit suspect. Um, but it, if it had ticked lower, I would have used a limit order back in here um, in a place where I could have an eight tick stop, a single tick above that high right there. So I would have been shooting for 2450. Um, and obviously I would have been filled there easily right at 2450. Uh, and then I would have caught this short. So, um, and the way this price action played out is the open the open was right there and it went higher first um, and it was it was looking like one of those overlap areas where it goes up big and down big and up big and it's really hard to tell which way it's going to go next so that also led me to skip that trade so it went higher and then finally broke lower and you can see it was it was a really quick drop after that everybody realized they got trapped on this little area so I like that for a short um, this was just a, a single tick trade all right so I had a little bit of a of a uh, interruption there but I took this short based on uh, another trader um, in our Skype group and I'm pretty sure this was off the 1000 tick chart that he went short right here uh, so I I took that trade with him and uh, <clears throat> it it only went a single tick my way uh, right there and and he had actually closed it out at break even and I was a little bit more stubborn and I had my target order here for a single tick I got my single tick uh, it dropped two more ticks and then reversed and went higher so um, so that I mean I'm counting it because I actually took it and uh, it did somewhat work out but um, but it's it's obviously not a good setup here. There is a channel working higher, and we've had we've had a channel working down, a break, and a new low. So it's not um, not surprising that we got a bit of a reversal here. Although it looks like it ended up failing. But uh, anyway, that is about it, and uh, the results for today: um, eighty-seven dollars four wins and three losses. So that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.